So Vivek Ramaswamy, the chief token in the current Trumpite movement, is complaining about the fact that the, you know, female, you know, white girl Twitter right now is calling MAGA weird. They're calling the Trumpite movement weird. And he doesn't like that. He feels like it's immature. It's childish. It's juvenile. He's complaining right now. Let's see what he had to say. So Vivek starts bitching about like this whole they're weird argument from the Democrats is dumb and juvenile. This is a presidential election, not a high school prom queen contest. It's also a tad ironic coming from the party that preaches diversity and inclusion. Win on policy if you can, but cut the crap, please. Now, Vivek Ramaswamy, you lick the boots of a man, you suck the of a man, you guzzle the of a man, you twerk on the penis of a man who is Donald John Trump, an individual who literally thrives off of disrespect, disorderly conduct, juvenile delinquency, I call him delinquent Don, Donald Trump is one of the most insane politicians of our era. Need I remind you again, Vivek, you support a treasonous, seditionist traitor for president. It's really funny that you sit there and say, this whole argument of they're weird is dumb and juvenile. You support a man who has an infinite amount of nicknames. When I call Trump dishonest Don, delinquent Don, deceptive Don, duplicitous Don, when I call him all of these names, I've learned it from him. I learned all of this from Donald. I couldn't learn this from Barack, from George, from, you know, Joe, Kamala, Hillary. I couldn't learn this level of disrespect and lack of, you know, class and decorum from any of them. I learned them from your Lord and Savior, Donald Trump. It's absolutely childish and hypocritical for you to talk about immaturity. And he says it's a it's a presidential election, not a high school prom queen contest. What are you, are you like, you're, you're mad because the girls are calling you weird? Like, are you like, you're hurt. He says it's a presidential election, not a high school prom queen contest. So, what, are you saying women can't use petty insults in political discussion? What, are you like triggered or something because the girls think you're weird? Boss up. Like, stop being soft. Like, oh, no, they called you weird. Stop being weird then. It's crazy how, like, he's crying about this. And it's like, bro, this is all on you. You support a weird party. You support a party that wants to get in the way of gay people's rights. You support the party that wants to get in the way of women's right to an abortion. You support a party that likes Vladimir Putin. Y'all are weird. You're all very odd individuals. Very weird. Very odd. And you're crying about, like, disrespect when you support a man who thrives off of disrespect. How are you so dumb that you bit this bait? Are you that dumb? I don't know why I had to explain this to you, but the reason why they're calling you guys weird is because number one, you guys use these petty tactics all the time. You are the most uncivilized faction of American politics today. You're the most barbaric, uncivilized, ghetto, dysfunctional faction in American politics today, bar none. Where do you gain the gall and also the stupidity necessary to call out the white girls on Twitter calling you weird? It's the most obvious bait. Why would you complain about them calling you weird when you support a president who calls people Crooked Hillary, Crooked Joe, Sleepy Joe, Little Marco, Lion Ted? And I admit these were funny nicknames. But don't argue about this is a presidential election. Stop. Stop. We tried that with Donald Trump. He didn't listen. We tried to tell Trump, Trump, you got to behave. This is the presidency. You have to actually like act like a president. He refused to do so. Don't pull the, it's the presidential election card now. Oh, y'all had eight years to act like adults, to encourage Trump and pressure Trump to act like an adult. Don't try now, but this is how Republicans act. Rules for thee, but not for me. When Donald is insulting and disrespectful, ha ha ha, so funny. When you flip it on us, oh no, you're being you're being immature, you're being juvenile. It's so childish. It's cry bully mentality. If we insult you, it's funny, it's cool. If you insult us, it's a problem. It's so pathetic. It's so disgusting. It's so weird. Oh, see, it's weird. It's weird. It's really weird. Nobody likes a cry bully. If you're going to be a bully, at least die on the cross of being a bully. Don't be a cry bully, though. No one likes a cry. No one likes a bully. 
But even worse is a cry bully. At least Donald isn't complaining about it. I think he tweeted out recently saying I'm not weird or something or truthed out saying I'm not weird. But at least he's not crying about insults. Here you go, trying to pick up slack. Then Vivek says the craziest thing of all. He says, it's a tad ironic coming from the party that preaches diversity and inclusion. I know your ass ain't talking. Aren't you the same token who got told to his face by Ann Coulter that she would have voted for you, but decided not to because you're Indian? No, she said you're an Indian as though nothing else about you matters and the chief most important aspect of your humanity and your qualifications for the candidacy or at that point the nomination for president of the Republican Party, your Indianhood supersedes anything else about you. And you sat there and had a reasonable discussion about it, which is fine. I mean, you know, kudos for not being a little bitch about it, but don't come to us talking about diversity and inclusion. Don't do that. Don't do that. You still have a debate to have with those conservatives about that. And call it what it is, racism. You went on the PBD podcast and sat there and said shit like, um, you know, I didn't, you know, I, I knew there were some people out there that thought that, but I didn't realize how many thought that way. And it's like, this is the problem with a lot of you conservatives who are non-black American and non-white American. You don't know how race works here. You don't know how racial tensions work here. You don't know. You then come here and you like lecture to black Americans about racial dynamics in America. And you don't even know how white Americans feel about you. You dumbass. You're an idiot. You are an idiot. You think black Americans keep distance for the Republican Party for no reason? You found out why the hard way. This is what we call in the black community a wake up call. You received a wake up call on the basis of your race. You did. And you were in delusion about how many people felt that way about you. Because you don't know anything about this country at all. And it blows my mind when people like you and Dinesh D'Souza engage in anti-black racism thinking you're going to gain favor with conservative white America. It don't work like that, bucko. It don't work like that. Dinesh D'Souza called Nick Fuentes the Rosa Parks of Twitter. A year later, Nick Fuentes went on a rant about how Dinesh D'Souza can't tell Trump to disavow white supremacists because Dinesh D'Souza doesn't sound like a name that would be on the Declaration of Independence. Again, I've already mentioned this before, but I'll go on. Fuentes then talked about how Dinesh comes from a nation of people who shit in public, therefore his opinion doesn't matter. Realize and recognize that when you cater to racists by saying stuff like Juneteenth is a redundant holiday, which is what you said, when you cater to racists by saying stuff like white supremacy isn't a thing in America, which is what you said, you got exactly what you deserved in that Ann Coulter situation, 100%. I feel no sympathy for you. In fact, I enjoyed it. It was funny to me. I'm done playing soft with conservatives. I'm done playing nice with y'all because when you receive the very energy you put out, you complain and cry. So now it's, it's wartime. Now it's time to use petty insults, disrespectful nicknames. It's time. It's time because y'all y'all want to be childish. Y'all want to cry and complain and all of that. No, we're not doing this with y'all. Talking about some it's juvenile while you support Trump. Are you dumb? You support delinquent Don and you think you could tell anybody else about what's juvenile? God save this country. Please, 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 please deliver us from Vivek and Trump and the rest of these weirdos. In your name, amen. Because, bro, what is going on? Crying about folk using the word weird. Just, like, man up and come up with a new insult, weirdo. Like, crying and shit. Talking about diversity and inclusion. When you literally got told to your face you, were, you wouldn't be a good candidate because you're brown. I don't know how you thought that you were going to overcome being brown in the Republican Party. I don't know how. How did you think you were going to overcome that? You don't know anything about this country. And you were born here. It's a crazy. You were born here. You're from Ohio. Why do you not know this? How do you not know this? How did you not know that conservative white America was not going to be a big fan of voting for somebody named Vivek Ramaswamy? How did you not get the memo? Like, <laughs> come on. How did you not know? And then being surprised that, you know, so I didn't realize that many people felt that way. Oh my God, bro. Don't ever talk about diversity and inclusion. Because like I said before, you were the guy who was trying to use anti-black, subtle anti-black racism as a means by which to elevate yourself in the Republican Party. You then received your 
wake up call from Ann Coulter. Vivek, stop crying, stop complaining, stop, stop all that, stop all that. At the end of the day, y'all have been running off of insults for eight years. You got lucky with Hillary. She tried to keep it classy. You got lucky with Joe. He's tried to keep it classy. Kamala not gonna play with it. She's not playing that with y'all. She's not playing with y'all, bro. She Y'all are not gonna get typical politics from Kamala, bro. Barack walked so she could run. We about to, we about to unleash all type of disrespect on y'all. It's time because y'all feed off disrespect. You live off disrespect and you will receive disrespect. Crying and complaining about being called weird calling it juvenile as you support Trump. This guy's talking about diversity and inclusion, despite the fact that he received a curry wake up call on Ann Coulter's show. And the reason why I'm being now I'm wilding like that is because this is a guy who named that episode. You want to know what the name of that episode was where Ann Coulter just went full blown mask off on him? Hood off. He named the episode the N word nationalism. So as you sit there, and try to admonish the American people for calling Trump weird and the Trumpites weird, you, someone who ran for president, thought it was appropriate to call your episode the N-word nationalism? It's in conjunction with your prior disrespect to the black American community, in which you said Juneteenth was a redundant holiday. And then when confronted about it by a white man who said, well, if Juneteenth is redundant, is Memorial Day and Veterans Day redundant? And the white man was right for asking the question because Vivek said, well, we already have MLK Day and I feel like the spirit of Juneteenth is already expressed in MLK Day. We don't need Juneteenth. This is a man of Indian descent whose parents were not citizens when he was born here saying that, I guess, you know, slavery and civil rights, well, black people are the one thing in common between the two. We don't need Juneteenth. Like, sir, America celebrating the end of slavery and black people actually being free is not a redundant holiday because we have MLK Day. This kind of rhetoric is unbelievably disrespectful, disgusting, and frankly racist. And the only reason Vivek can get away with it is because he's not white. It's because he's not white. And that's why I have no sympathy for what Ann Coulter did to you. I thought it was hilarious. Hilarious. I thought it was amazing. I watch it all the time. It's funny. And Vivek was like, well, no, you know, I, I like holidays that have stood the test of time. As if holidays were just ordained by God and we didn't just make them up. So I, I don't understand. Like, this is a guy who thought anti-black racism, subtle, but clear anti-black racism would propel him in the GOP, in the, in the Trumpite movement, and it didn't work. Instead, you got swatted down by Ann Coulter trying to be disrespectful. So I, I, it blows my mind that a man like, if we could call you a man, an individual like you would ever point the finger at anyone else for being juvenile or disrespectful. I, I don't understand this. And it's like, it's crazy, like... We need, we need more Indian folk in politics. We need more, because you and Dinesh are doing the Indian community so wrong. This is so fucked up. Yo, yo, somebody, yo, we need to get a sub. Get a sub, get a sub, bro. Yo, this is crazy. Hey, look, bro. All that complaining you're doing on Twitter, cease. Cease and desist, okay? You support Donald. He's disrespectful. You're disrespectful. You're basically racist. I had the, like, bro, come on. We, you also said white supremacy didn't exist in America. You can try to be subtle about it, but you obviously have no respect for black America. You, of all people, cannot complain, okay? Please stop. This is why you're being called weird. Only dork, only a dork would like have, would lack the social awareness to be like, oh shit, they're using it against us. They're using the very thing we do against us. Well played. If you, if you did it like that, you'd seem cooler, but you look like a dork, biggest dork, but it is what it is. If you think this cacophony of suckers are weird and un, you know, unfit for office, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, support the channel. Make sure more and more people learn about how weird Vivek Ramaswamy and Trump are, right? And the entire MAGA movement. I mean, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene, the Jewish space lasers, Lauren Boebert, you know, passing no bills in Congress. You know, these people are odd individuals. They're just all weird. Trump being a seditionist traitor, 
these people are weird people. They're odd. They're just abnormal. I want like they're like I don't know. They're made in a lab. Like I don't know where these niggas came from. But are they weird? They are weird. Actually, I think about it. They really are odd. Where are these? Where do these niggas come from? Yo, if you like me, recognize the oddity and the just weird just energy of MAGA. Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay. Rem sh share with your homeboys. Share with your friends. Share with your homegirls. Make sure everybody is reminded of how odd these people are. They're just very weird people. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.